All right, guys, we're going to be creating the gauge in this video. So let's create a sketch in the front view here. And let's just use the circle down with a circle icon above to better match this circular reference. Now, once complete, we can right click and hit OK. And let's select this profile and right click and press pull this. And we're just going to press pull it just by a little bit. Once satisfied, let's hit OK. And over to the left, let's right click on the layer and go to move. We're just going to move it. To this red area here. Now let's hit OK. We can now select this surface and create a sketch. Now let's hit finish sketch. And what that did was give us some geometry we can select and right click press pull. And now we can follow this reference. Let's just pull it to about here and change it from join to new body and hit OK. Now let's hit this modify drop down and select chamfer and let's just chamfer this edge. We're just trying to match this reference here. And we're just going to rinse and repeat. So hit OK. And we're going to rotate back around. And we're going to select this surface and create a sketch once more. And click Finish Sketch. Now let's just press pull this along the reference line here. And we're going to stop right here. Let's, yeah, we can keep it on join and hit OK. Now let's rotate back around. Let's select this surface and rinse and repeat. So create sketch, finish sketch. But this time, when we press pull it, we're going to set it to new body so we can have a starting point for our draft. So let's set this join operation to uh, new body. Let's go up to modify draft. And let's select the bottom side of the cylinder and the side. Now we can use this uh, slider here to widen the edge along the reference. Once satisfied, just hit OK. And we're going to Go back around to the surface and we're going to create sketch, finish sketch. Let's just press pull this along the reference here. And this will become like a second nature to you guys, just creating a sketch off of a plane or surface. Let's just make sure this operation is set to join. Now we can create a sketch on the 2D plane by selecting the background. Use the hotkey L or just go to the line icon above to draw a line going straight up. And it doesn't matter how long the line is because lines are infinite. So what we'll do is select the line and control C, control V to duplicate it. And let's just slide it over to match this reference. Now we're going to go to modify split body and we're going to select the body and the splitting tools will be these two lines. And I'll just rotate around so you can see what these lines are doing. They're basically dividing the body in pieces. Now we can select this surface and press pull it inwards to better match the reference. And once we're satisfied, we'll just hit OK. And let's create another sketch on the 2D plane by selecting the background or the plane. Now, there's a lot of ways we can start off, but I'll just start off using the two-point rectangle tool. And we're just going to line it up with this reference here. And I'll stop somewhere about here. And I'll just use the line tool to intersect these points. And there's a lot of ways to go about making these shapes from the reference, but this is just one of them. Also, I'm trying to avoid using any constraints just to ensure I don't confuse anyone. And one thing to know about Fusion 360 is there's always going to be multiple ways of getting the same results. It's just about being efficient. This just isn't efficient, but it works. So let's just select these scissors and clip off any lines that we just don't need or any access lines here. And once satisfied, we're just going to right click and hit OK to close out. And then we'll left click and hold to select this profile and just press pull this. And we're just going to press pull it about, about here should be fine. Let's set it to new body and hit OK. Go over to the body layer and let's just right click and select move. And we're just going to slide it to it intersects through the body just by a little bit. And once satisfied, hit OK. Now go to the create drop down and go to pattern, circular pattern. And the body's going to be this rectangular body we created. And the axis is going to be this ring here. And let's set the quantity to 6. And let's hit OK. Now go to the top and select the combine icon and select the body. Now the tool bodies are going to be all six rectangles. And we're going to change the operation from join to cut so we can Boolean those rectangles from the main body. Now a Boolean operation is just subtracting geometry from another geometry, if that makes any sense. So what we'll do now is just swing back around to the front and select the front face of this cylinder and create a sketch. 
And let's start off by using the circle diameter circle icon here. And let's just trace this outer ring here. You can adjust it just by uh, left clicking, holding it, or right clicking and moving it. Now let's pattern this around. So we're going to go to create drop down and select pattern, circular pattern. And let's just select this outer ring here. And let's change the quantity to six. Hit OK. And we can just hold shift and select all of these cylinders here, or these uh, profile sketches. And we can right click, press pull, and let's just press pull them in just a little bit. So here should be fine. And let's make sure the operation is on cut. Now we can use the hotkey F to go to fillet mode or just go to modify fillet. And once we're in fillet mode, we can now select these uh, circular edges. And once they're all selected, you can adjust them by dragging in or out this blue arrow. And when you're ready, you can just hit OK. Now select uh, this flat surface here and create a sketch. And let's go to modify offset. And I'm just going to show you guys another way of creating a circle from a sketch. So select the edge. Now just drag in this slider here. And we're just going to make it a little bit smaller than the original sketch. And once ready, right click, hit OK. And let's just press pull this inwards. And you can use this blue arrow to adjust the size of it. Or you could just click on another surface to bring it to that location. And let's just set this to new body and hit OK. Now let's just create a pattern around this perimeter. So go to create pattern, circular pattern. And let's select this cylinder here that we just created for the body. And for the uh, axes, we can select any of these rounded edges. Set the quantity to six and hit OK once you're done. Now we can go to create sketch and select the 2D plane or the 2D background. Now we're in sketch mode, so we can use the two point rectangle to better match this reference here. So let's just zoom in and let's just create our sketch and let's just extend uh, this right edge out past the reference. Now we're going to select the plane by left clicking, holding and select profile. Let's just right click and press pull this. Kind of similar to what we did earlier with the other cutout. Let's just make this a new body. And let's right click on the layer and go to move. And let's just move this to it intersects with this giant body. Once satisfied, let's just hit OK. And let's pattern this around. So go to create pattern, circular pattern, select the rectangle for the body. And for the axes, you can select any of these rings. And let's set the quantity to 33 and hit OK. Click on the combine icon above and select the main body. And for the tool bodies are going to be this first rectangle here. And you can just scroll to the bottom and shift select this last one. You change the operation to cut, hit OK. Now that that's done, we can swing back around the front and we can select the surface of any of these cutout circles. And let's just create a sketch. Now let's use this circle icon above and let's just create a circle just a little bit smaller than the original shape. And we can right click and hit OK once we're satisfied. And let's just press pull this inwards because our goal is just to cut a giant tube down all six of these holes. So let's set this operation to new body. Now let's just create a pattern around and let's just set the quantity to six so we can pattern this through all six of these holes. You guys should be familiar with this now. So let's just combine these. So let's combine this and this piece. And let's set it to join so it'll be one piece. And we're going to hit combine once more. And we're going to combine these pieces together. But we're going to do a cut. So combine this with these six uh, cylinders and set it to cut. And it's going to give you a cut like this. So hit OK. All right, guys. So this pretty much wraps up this chapter. Hopefully you guys didn't get too confused. <laughs> 